uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is now I'm going to take my computer out of the OOB port, and that's going to dump this uh, this website that we've been using. Uh, no longer plugged in at the 0.100 address. And I'm going to take this and plug this into port 10. So let's watch for a second. Okay, so I'm in port 10 now. And over here, can you see that on the screen? Yeah, over here, you can see that there's network activity. Now, I got to go back and I got to clear my uh, network card because I'm still sitting at 0, 0100. So we're going to go to control panel. And we're going to go to network and sharing center. We're going to open this one. I know that this is the one that I'm using. So I'm just going to click on that one. And uh, oh, it opened on a second screen. So it's going to open this properties. IPv4. And I'm going to clear this and just hit OK, OK, and close. And now identifying, boom, network six. Uh, sometimes you get the, do you want to join the network thing? Um, I did not this time. That's odd. Uh, but anyways, okay, so I have been given an IP address. Now, how do we check? Well, let's open command prompt and say it with me now. IP config. All right, so here, and we're looking for 85. So 85.13, so the DHCP on the switch worked just fine. I'm not taking up a PoE port. I'm in port 10, and so that is great. Now, how do we get back to the web UI now that we're inside? So 0 0.239 is not going to work anymore. But remember, we assigned this switch and IP address inside the VLAN, right? And that was 192.168.85.1. Oh, look, there's our web UI for this switch. And so the password is still the same as we had set it, or if you haven't set it, it's still the default. And we log in to our web UI. Now, be careful making changes on this side, because if you make IP changes on this side, it's going to affect your connection with your computer. So it's always best to set up the network stuff, all the profiles and everything using the OOB port, because you'll never get disconnected from that one, regardless of what changes you make on the switch. But if we make changes to this VLAN, it's going to restart the VLAN and that can cause intermittent problems. And so don't do that. Set up all your network profile stuff inside of the OOB port and then switch over if you want to test it so now we can see here port number 10 has this little green uh this little green outline it's kind of hard to see sorry about that there's no power i don't know why they include that on port 9 and 10 because there's it's no way to give power but anyways there's no power that's my ip address 85.13 there's my mac address for my computer and uh my nick card is made by pegatron apparently so uh the link speed is a gig which is what we uh expect and i'm on vlan 10.